Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain the operation block diagram of a simple CRO. So this is the complete block diagram of a simple CRO. In the previous video, we have learned the basic block diagram of a CRO where the vertical amplifier section and horizontal amplifier section means a vertical reflection system and horizontal reflection system along with the CRT screen have been explained. Okay, uh, the difference between the previous diagram and here is, here the complete and detailed structure of internal architecture of entire CRO has been discussed. Uh, here, see the uh, vertical amplifiers, horizontal amplifiers, sawtooth waveform and what are the different types of voltages that are required for the CRT like anode, cathode, anode and um, uh, what is that focusing and node accelerating and node and different voltages uh, like electronic gun also electronic gun also required some voltage all these voltages have been uh, have been shown individually okay and some blader resistors also taken like r1 is a blader resistor which is also taken to get the voltage division uh, based upon the required voltage what we need for the accelerating anode and focusing anodes so i will explain the uh, blocks of this uh, simple CRO individually, listen carefully, very very easy, the circuit diagram looks bigger but it is very easy if we understand, okay. See, let us start this explanation at electron gun, okay. So when you switch on this CRO or CRT screen, what happens immediately that 230 volts what we are giving that will directly pass through this electron gun. So AC heater supply will take the AC voltage what we are giving as a line supply. That voltage will be directly applied to this electron gun. Electron gun what it will do it, and it will energize as we are giving the input voltage it will energize and so that the beam of electrons will be traveled towards the fluorescent screen. Okay, after passing through these anodes, cathodes and whatever the focusing anodes and accelerating anodes 1, 2 are connected here after uh, it crosses all these and directly the signal will directly fall on the fluorescent screen like this. Okay, now so AC heater supply, AC heater supply nothing but the 230 volts what we are giving at the plug. Okay, the same signal is also taken as line supply. So, if you take this uh, line where it is connected, here it is line supply. I will tell what is line here. Okay, now what are these plates? So, these plates are horizontal reflecting plates. These are horizontal reflecting plates and these are vertical reflecting plates. Vertical reflecting plates must be applied with the vertical input. Vertical reflecting plates must be applied with the vertical input signal. That is what the signal what we are going to display on the CRT screen. That has to be directly applied to this vertical reflecting plates through a vertical amplifier. See, our next step is vertical input. This is the place where we are applying the input signal. Suppose I want to display a sinusoidal signal. That sinusoidal signal is directly applied to this vertical input. Okay. The vertical input is applied to vertical amplifier, vertical amplifier input to first it, it must be passing through a vertical amplifier before applying the signal to the plates. So the output of this vertical amplifier if you observe this line where it is going, it is going to the vertical reflecting plates. These are the vertical reflecting plates. Okay. And also the same signal is taken as the internal signal. So if you see this line where it is going, it is going to the internal signal. It is going to the internal signal. This is internal signal. Okay. This is what the vertical deflection system. Vertical deflection system as I have discussed in the previous video also, vertical deflection system consists of a vertical amplifier, delay line and then directly the signal will be applied to the vertical deflecting plates. And coming to the horizontal deflecting plates, the horizontal deflection system consists of the input is a trigger pulse, trigger signal. The output from the vertical amplifier is given to the trigger circuit followed by a sawtooth waveform generator followed by horizontal amplifier and then given to horizontal deflection plates. If you 
have seen the previous video then you can understand what I am talking here otherwise it is very difficult to understand if you don't uh, watch the previous video once go back and watch the previous uh, video of a simple uh, block diagram of a CRO what are the vertical and horizontal reflection systems and how these are operated if you understand that then what I am speaking here it is very understandable okay so uh, take the horizontal input horizontal input here the horizontal signal is nothing but what it is specifies vertical signal specifies the movement of electron beam in the vertical direction and as well as the horizontal signal specifies horizontal reflection system will be taking care the movement of electron in the horizontal direction that means how long the sweep has to travel in one complete cycle in uh, what is the complete cycle that this distance has to travel by the electron so that is given by three different ways three different ways three different ways one is line supply another one is internal signal and another one is external signal external sync signal okay that means the sawtooth waveform which has to be generated what is the purpose of sawtooth generator in the horizontal reflection system uh, there are three blocks trigger circuit sawtooth waveform generator followed by horizontal amplifier uh, sawtooth waveform generator i already discussed this point sawtooth waveform generator it generates a sawtooth like this until that means the capacitor charges until certain point whenever there is a negative going pulse occurred again the capacitor discharges again the process repeated when a negative going pulse occurred again this discharges so this process will be repeated continuously like that that means whenever a negative triggered pulse also known as sync input also known as sync input synchronization input occurred that negative pulse makes the transistor ujt to switch on and immediately the capacitor discharges i will tell you one more concept is there ujt relaxation oscillator or a time based generator there I will tell how this uh, operation is going to be done. I, I will explain in terms of circuit diagram. Okay. So, uh, this type of uh, signal uh, is going to be generated by using a sync input. So, that is the sync here. Okay. That sync signal whether we can give using a line supply or using an internal vertical line signal or using from external sync input. These are the three different methods they, where we can get this uh, synchronization input. So that this synchronization input what it will do it uh, triggers the sweep circuit so that the sweep generator will produce the sweeps at regular intervals of time those intervals must be equal to the interval of the input signal okay so this is the first switch this s1 is the first switch which is a sync selector switch the output of this sync amplifier the output that means the sync signal is up passing through a sync amplifier the output of this sync amplifier is passed into given to sawtooth waveform generator sawtooth waveform generator this is the output of sawtooth waveform generator what i explained here sawtooth waveform generator so the output of this one is given to again a switch here the switch is used for the sweep selector that means one thing see here there are two switches are used the sweep selector is one switch another switch is a sync selector sync selector is used to select the trigger pulse from any of these three line external or internal and a sweep selector is to select the sweep signal nothing but a sawtooth waveform whether directly from the external supply or because of this sync selector and sawtooth waveform generator is a linear wave okay so one is the linear way another one is the external way external way is the direct application of sawtooth waveform onto this horizontal input otherwise using this internal circuitry what i have explained so far so this also a linear method that a sync sweep selector can select so the output of this one is passing through a horizontal amplifier the output of this horizontal amplifier is given to horizontal deflecting plates okay that means before this is the what the horizontal deflection system consisting of and another thing is the output signal see horizontal signal what it is generated and vertical signal what it is generated that we can directly have an access to control to have a, a view on this one so vertical output and horizontal 
uh, input uh, that means instead of uh, this entire setup we can also directly apply these vertical and horizontal inputs directly to the plates without having all these so this is another type of direct inputs methods are also given here vertical input horizontal input and this is for Excel, uh, in, intensity control z axis is for intensity control see where this line is going it goes like this and meets at this point so where it is having it is intensity control intensity control that is given to this intensity control okay if you observe any cro you might have seen the cro pen to panel there are two knobs one is for focus another one is intensity okay the, those two are for increasing or decreasing the brightness and contrast uh, brightness and contrast of the CRO beam okay so those are also controlled by this voltage divider network see on the right side part everything I have explained coming to the left side part there are two different voltages one is high voltage DC supply and low voltage DC supply can you guess where this low voltage DC supply has been used where this low voltage what is the purpose of this low voltage DC supply see low voltage DC supply output is given to amplifiers and as well as sweep circuits if you take any amplifier like horizontal amplifier or vertical amplifier amplifier is nothing but it is a device and a transistor we are using a fat amplifier we are using uh, any type of amplifiers that takes the dc supply biasing supply so for that biasing supply we may use either plus 5 volts or plus 12 volts not more than that so it is a low voltage dc supply okay in the case of sweep generator which is nothing but a ujt relaxation oscillator there also we need a biasing supply so for these uh, sweep generators and amplifiers we should have definitely some positive uh, uh, biasing supply which is a low voltage that should be generated by using this low voltage dc supply that is the purpose of this low voltage dc supply uh, keeping this in this simple crv screen and another one is high voltage DC supply high voltage DC supply already I, I told you in the features CRT features I have explained this operating voltages so operating voltages is one of the features of CRT there I have explained what are the different voltages like negative grid focusing anode positive anode number one and positive anode number two focusing electrodes so like the different um, uh, anodes and uh, intensity controllers are there for them we need to give some high negative voltage high voltage DC supply that high voltage DC supply directly given to the resistor divider network a potential voltage divider network a voltage divider network consisting of these five resistors R1 R2 R3 R4 and R5 depending upon the type of anode or type of uh, intensity or whatever it is we are taking the different uh, resistors and voltage divider network the output of this one is given to corresponding slots so if you take this the first one um, our voltage across this r5 if you are taking this voltage across this r5 this is given to this focusing anode focusing anode and r5 resistor is a potentiometer the output of this one voltage across this r5 at particular point it is given through a intensity controller this is the intensity controller and the next one is r3 is a potentiometer the output of this one is again given to focusing anode another one is a accelerating anode that is given from the output of r2 that means here we have the voltage that is through r2 r3 r4 and r5 with respect to ground okay so these are the different focusing anodes accelerating anodes and intensity controllers so to change the beam of the electron which is focusing which is displayed on the crt screen okay so this is what the simple cro complete block diagram description okay however we have two more cro's are also there dual beam cro and dual trace cro if you have any doubt if you still do not understand there uh, you can better understand in the coming videos okay there is nothing here very simple horizontal reflection system is there vertical reflection system is there whatever the signal we want to view on the screen that directly gives to the vertical reflecting plates nothing but vertical input the output of this vertical amplifier is given as an internal signal to select the trigger, uh, trigger pulse and another two are coming from the external supply and as well as line supply the output of the sync selector is given to a sweep generator sweep generator generates a regular intervals of uh, sawtooth waveforms those sawtooth waveform changes its state depending upon the trigger pulse that is coming from that sync selector input 
okay so the output of this one is given to horizontal amplifier and thereby it is given to horizontal reflect deflecting plates okay this is what the simple cro block diagram okay and in the next slide i will i have given the some description about this uh, simple cro if you want you can read uh, go through these points if you do not understand you can go through these points you can understand in a better way okay thank you